Here's a couple demos here. This uses a flip view example using uh, a Windows 8 style. So it'll load some pictures and then we can uh, use these buttons to click through. We can provide transition effects like crumple transition, for example. So just some, some new ways. These are just using standard actions. So these actions over here uh, are action next and action previous. And then using the styles, look up, we use the flip view left button. Uh, and you have all these different uh, flip view and other kinds of buttons to use for these style lookups. So here's those uh, Windows 8 looking apply buttons and cancel buttons and close buttons and so on. And you've got the flip view arrows. You can also just type and say, show me the flip view ones or the fly out buttons that will fly in and out. So these are just default styles that are available and they're tied to actions and uh, just gives you that sort of modern look and feel uh, for your applications. Another example is this uh, flyout demo. So here we've got uh, a look and feel. We've got a calendar button and it's going to do a show calendar flyout true. Let's try this look. And if we click that, notice the calendar flies in and it disappears. So we'll see it come in and out. We'll close it. It's got that look and feel. Sure, flying in and out. There's animations that are available. So let's change this one, this flyout animation. And let's set it to uh, a second, for example. And so here comes the, so now it just flies, slides in very nicely. So there's the calendar and it goes away completely. So again, using the uh, Windows 8 style, this fits very nicely in a touch system and lots of support for uh, even more modern looks of your applications uh, using actions, using styles, and using style lookup. We have an application. And underneath, it's tied to a live tile. So if you look over on the Windows 8 desktop, I'm displaying this thing called Project One Metropolis, and it's alternating between an image and the text header. These other applications with news headlines are, so we can right mouse click and say, what's the smaller version of the tile? So here we've got it. So how this is working is that this is a VCL application. Here's its user interface, and here's the design of the form. We put a TLive tile component down on our VCL or FireMonkey applications. This TLive tile has a GUID, which is the application ID. It has a name, Project One Metropolis, which is that text that'll show up. It has a narrow tile and a live tile, and uh, Microsoft provides all sorts of formats for different tiles. And so they're all uh, listed there, tile square block one, text one, text two, and so on. These are all different styles that Microsoft provides that are templates, and the templates are actually just a set of XML that you can set in your, app, in your application. The strings of those items, this user interface will set, and the button click just says, take an image and put it in the image bitmap, and set live tile, and then do update tile. So if I make any changes to the pictures or click on the button, then it's going to update the live tile. Here's my uh, templates down here. The wide value of the text header, take the edit text, uh, and take the images from the canvas and so on. And so that allows it to show up over here on my Windows desktop. So you can take a VCL application, which is still compiled for Windows using the Windows API, the Windows SDK, but it can communicate through a service that we give you that you install and an application launcher that if we click on the tile, it will bring our application back up. So we can change this text to beach and we can change this text to uh, palm tree. And we can do something, you know, paint some circles on the canvas, do the update of the wide tile, update of the narrow tile, switch back to Windows desktop, and eventually it will do the update over here. Let's go and uh, make the large tile. It takes a little bit. Microsoft, there's the new bitmap. Right, and then it'll say, uh, oh, I forget, maybe I didn't hit uh, update on the text header. Uh, let's see, there's the narrow one, and uh, let's go back to the smaller one. And so there's a few dots, and uh, there's Project One Metropolis. Let's make sure that's updated, and then switch back. So the idea is you can make your VCL and your window FireMonkey applications behave like their, oh, there it is, palm tree. Now it's doing it updates. And let's go and uh, right mouse click and bring up the larger tile. And now we've got this uh, bitmap and it should say beach. Okay. So what that live tile non-visual component does is it allows you to communicate from your application to the Windows 8 desktop. 
what's happening in your application. Uh, one thing you have to do is install a service so that this application live tile component can communicate through, to the service, which the service then can communicate to the desktop. And we also have one other uh, application that that I put in my startup folder, which is this Metropolis app launcher down here, which is the thing that listens for the click on the application from the desktop, Windows desktop, and it goes and brings up the application full screen or, or minimized, maximized, whatever it was. So here it is, maximized, for example. We go back, change this to uh, smaller, click on it, and it just remembers where it is. So this allows you to communicate from your application to the Windows 8 desktop and from the Windows 8 desktop to take you back to your application. So it's a one non-visual component a service and this little launcher, and then you can take your applications and make them behave. Even though they're still Windows API, they're not WinRT yet, not until we have our, our compilers done for WinRT in the future and for ARM processors in the future. But you can have the look and feel of Windows with Metropolis UI and the live tile non-visual component, just drag and drop it uh, into your application. And you can have your VCL and your FireMonkey applications behaving like they're a Windows live tile application.